Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Viva Glaze. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you get to know each time I upload a new video. Okay, today is another exciting video. I thought I should share with you my new bag purchase. It's right here and this bag is from Louis Vuitton. It is the Montaigne BB in the Empreinte Leather. And this is the Rose Poudre pink color. And yes, I mean, I've had this bag for about a week and a half. I had been eyeing it, you know, stalking it basically. But when I was ready to buy it, I could not find it in Australia on the stores online. I looked everywhere, Sydney, Melbourne stores, and I could not find it. So um, I had to look online. I could only see it on online stores overseas. So yes, anyway, I ended up taking up to other um, pre-loved stores, you know, Tradesy had a bag, uh, 24S didn't, uh, eBay, I even looked on eBay. So. On Tradesy, they wanted me to create like a US account and all of this for the shipping and it was just too much trouble for that day. I was not ready for that. I didn't feel like it. So <laughs> um, on eBay, there were different sellers, um, bags of different condition. Um, you had the MM, which is the medium size, and then you had the uh, GM sizes, but I wanted a, a BB size. So there was this store that was selling it and um, it was like a display model, but when it arrived, it was like brand new, okay? I don't know whether people actually um, used it in that store or touched it, but um, it came with all the packaging and all the bits and pieces. So I'm so excited that it's finally here and I can get to share with you the features and the specs. I have not taken this bag out of this house just yet because it's been raining and I, you know, and sometimes I buy things and I just like looking at them, you know, keeping them looking pretty on the shelf there for a little while. But yeah, I do intend on actually using this bag like tomorrow. Okay. So anyway, I'll just talk a little bit about it. Like I mentioned, this is the BB size. So this is the baby size of the three sizes that this bag comes in. Um, it does have this uh, shiny gold hardware, gold tone hardware. Um, so I'll just show you. So it has those two gold stars right there and they say Louis Vuitton on them. Um, Hope you can see that. And yes, so the gold tone hardware goes throughout the bag. Even got these um, two bottom studs um, in the same gold tone hardware. Just so you, when you place your bag down, it's protected and the surface doesn't touch that leather bottom there. Okay. And so it's in this emprunt leather, which is a more like supple cowhide leather. Um, it has grains on it. It's a grainy leather. I wouldn't say it's soft. It's a pretty structured bag. Um, but over time, of course, if you overstuff it with things, it will stretch a little bit and it will become softer. Um, but at the moment, it's still pretty structured. Um, it's not like a soft lambskin or anything like that. It's just steadier, you know. I have it stuffed at the moment just to keep its shape. So I'll take the stuffing out. And that's the inside there. As you can see there, it has these two large compartments and that middle compartment with a zip. And I um, hope you can see that. It has um, textile lining and that tag there, it just says Louis Vuitton. 
On the side here, it has those two, what they call smartphone compartments. I wonder if my phone will fit there too, <laughs> I don't know. And then on the other side, it has like one larger compartment just there. So it also has um, this hook here that you can hook onto this part here. I'll just show you. My bag is still very structured. So it's hard to clip these together. Okay. So you can do that just for safety. If you're in an area where you're worried somebody will stick their little hand in there. Mm -hmm. My bag is still very stiff and structured, so it's hard to maneuver it. Anyway, so that's basically the structure of the inside. It has these hooks here. These two hoops, hooks I should call them. And they are actually for the strap measurements. Um, the length here is 29 centimeters and the height is 20 centimeters and the width here is 13 centimeters. So yes, it's not a massive bag, but I think um, you can fit essentials for your outings. Um, I would compare this size to two bags that I can think of on top of my head. Um, the Speedy Bandolier or, or Speedy 25 because I think the only difference is about two centimeters. But of course, they're structured different. The Speedy uh, 25 is more like a bucket bag. It has no compartments, so you can pretty much chuck anything in there. But with this one, it's got compartments, so you kind of have to be careful with um, the size of items that you try to fit in there. Another bag that I'm thinking of is the Louis Vuitton Capucine in the BB size. Um, and that one is also like a similar size, but again, it doesn't have as many compartments. It only has two. Uh, anyway, let's not talk about the bags that are not here for this video. The strap is 55 centimeters and it says Louis Vuitton right there. I hope you can see that. Anyways, so yes. It has LV on the hooks, you know, um, LV on the hooks. So let's just put the strap on and see how it looks. Hey, one on that side, one on that side and one on this side. So as I showed you earlier, the hooks are right here on opposite sides. So actually, you've got the strap going on this side and that side. Instead of the sides of the bag, it's more a bit. I hope you can see that. It's a bit awkward when you put on the bag. Um, it can twist in a weird way, but it's manageable. It just depends on your body shape and all of that. So I'd say it's best you try the bag on. It is a big purchase, so I wouldn't just purchase it without trying it on to see if it'll suit your figure. Let me see if I can fit my phone in that side compartment. I have the 8 Plus, iPhone 8 Plus, so no, it doesn't go in there. It can kind of go into one of the side pockets like that, but not really. The other bits and pieces that I mentioned earlier that came with the bag are one of them is this strap here. So the strap, basically, I think the intention behind it is if you wanted to, again, secure your bag so no one can reach in it, 
or get these um, handles out of the way, you can use this strap to buckle them up just like this. And see that? Secure. Or we could just keep this on the side for when we need it <laughs> because I don't need my handles closed up just yet. So I'm gonna leave this here and that's it there. It's got that Louis Vuitton written here. Hope you can see that. Basically, it says Louis Vuitton everywhere, okay? Let's just, <laughs> I don't think I can show you every nook and cranny on the bag, but I'm trying my best. Other bits and pieces that the bag came with are this and this, and you've got that lock. Yep, and it's the other side. So, yes, and the keys. Okay, so yeah, it's got the two keys and these two pieces of leather. Okay, now, this is the clochette key bell. Um, so, I'll show you how to put it together because you might get this bag and you might not know how to put it together or another bag. So this is basically standard on Louis Vuitton bags that come with this and this is how you would do it. Um, this is also how they do it in the store, um, those sales assistants. So I'll just show you really quickly. How I attach the clochette or how do I put it together um, to create the clochette key bell is I will take that piece of leather and put it through one of the holes on the other end. So it's on my handle like that. Then I will slide this leather here in just like that. Put the keys in. You could even, um, detach one of the keys and store it somewhere and just have one key on hand instead of two. Honestly, people don't really use these keys typically. I mean, who wants to keep locking and unlocking their bag? Anyway, so I've got that in like that. Then I put it through the holes on the other end, just like that. So it'll look like that. And then I will slide this other piece of leather over. So that's how it looks. And it just sits like this. Yeah, it's a bit of an accessory on the bag as well. So yes looks so pretty. Um, I might find um, a little deco to add to the bag sometime. So now I have this um, padlock. I intend on putting this padlock here on the zipper. Um, yes, on the middle compartment so I could just open and close. That's basically the bag and isn't it so pretty and classy. Um, it comes in different colors. It is such a pretty bag. Um, it comes in different colors. It comes in the noir, which is the black. And that was really nice. Um, blue jean, it's a blue color and it comes in this taupey color um so yeah and then like a cream color as well so for me it was so hard to decide which color 
that's part of the reason why it took me so long to buy the bag um so i just had to close my eyes and just pick okay because i'm trying to create a variety of bags in my collection instead of buying something that's too similar to another bag that i already own so yes i would say it's hard to get some certain bags in australia um fashion file is a good store as well 24s usually has some good bags um but i've had to try ebay um to get this bag and i'm not typically an ebay shopper for luxury items but yeah it turned out all right so i'm glad it did japanese sellers are usually very reliable um this time i can't remember what the store was uh where it was but yeah they they did a good job giving me the right things it had all the receipts it had um the dust bag um which is where I store the bag and the box and everything that you would want your bag to come with. So yes, um, <laughs> I will have to come back actually and show you what I can fit in this bag. I am so excited to use it. I'm excited to review it after I have used it, see how it works with my lifestyle. Um, so I do have my wallet here. Um, I just want to show you the length. Oh, it fits perfectly with plenty of room in there. So, yeah, I mean, I'm sure I'll find things to stuff in here. <laughs> well, that does it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed uh, my show and tell of the Louis Vuitton Montaigne BB in the on-print leather and the rose poudre pink color um let me know if you have a similar bag um and was this informative like did you did you learn anything <laughs> um are you intending on buying it i mean do you like it um, does it suit me <laughs> anyway um i will chat with you in the comment section if you leave me a comment 